What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and we're going to be talking about season 7 right now and be giving you guys the best ways to prepare. Obviously many of you guys that have already reached level 47 or 50, you are more than prepared. For those of you guys that are trying to squeeze out like the last day and you're nowhere near it, I guess what I'm going to recommend is that you get prepared for season 7 and just know that you're not going to be able to get that boost that many of us will be able to get with the 20,000 XP. You can expect that it'll be a ton of free content Content, fan appreciation rookie premiere promo all the stuff because Madden is pretty much done overall uh, unless they do what they did last year and keep promos going through July to kind of make it so that it's like only like a one week difference leading into the new Madden if that does happen I will keep you guys up to date with that but we will be playing college football 25 ultimate team and uh, obviously uh, Madden 25 we're also going to be going back and taking a look at some of the new content DLC uh, from Hogwarts Legacy so my real OGs know about that no I'm not a Harry Potter fan but that game is fire all right boys so look Let's talk about preparation really quickly, all right? There's a lot of cards that you may have right now that you probably don't need. Uh, you could probably go ahead and do some clean, you know, clean house, you know, type stuff with that. Uh, make sure that you're still doing your daily objectives, even if you are a level 50. You never know what you might get out of one of these. Uh, it could turn into the blue, the gold, whatever version of those strat cards that can also obviously uh, give you coins. I'm gonna go over some of the golden tickets because I know many of you guys have concerns with that and uh, what it means for your actual squad all right also make sure that you've already done the ultimate legend challenges i've been getting numerous reports that the ultimate challenges are booting you out the ultimate legend challenges they're booting you guys out of games if that's happening you're going to want to go to help.ea.com and you're going to want to file a claim i have not had any issues up to this point so i don't know if it's a console thing it's a pc i'm getting it from all you know different sides of you know wherever you guys are playing oh it's booting me it typically happens in the earlier ones because for whatever reason ea servers they get bad as it starts to get outdated so that's why i always tell you guys if you have a few seconds go ahead and get it done early uh that way you don't have to worry about going back to it later okay also make sure you take advantage of anything that's available the one cent packs or anything else that's miscellaneous uh, you know, because season six is done, guys. Like, it's pretty much over. They're going to be doing the reveals later. By the time you watch this video, they probably will be doing or being very, very close to doing the reveals uh, for season seven. All right. As far as the special offers, if you are interested in any of these things, you're going to want to get it before tomorrow when, the, you know, the servers go down. Because more than likely, they're going to have the servers down. This is something, if you're new to the game, that you may want to take advantage of because typically you're going to make a decent amount of coins out of the special offers so and also they reduce the price of them so it's it's up to you i'm not telling you to spend money on the game because i would much rather you guys save any money you're going to spend in the game right now for madden 25 and just grind the actual game if you're learning about mutt and some of the things with it but again after they update the servers tomorrow these special offers are going to be gone so if you want to take advantage of them go ahead this one right here might be the best one though because if you get 386s, it's GG's in the chat. If you do get that. I'm not saying you will. I'm saying if. So that's something you may want to go ahead and consider. All right? As far as the team goes and your items that are in your binder. All right? If you guys have been winning Super Bowls like you're telling me or you've been, you know, you got a couple bundles and you have a lot of miscellaneous cards, you're going to want to hold on to some of the... Um, you know, like the 97s, the 98s, stuff like that. We don't know exactly what EA is going to do. So you see, like, I kept these 98s that I pulled out of some of my Super Bowl packs because as the, you know, as the game further, as it goes further along, what happens is you start to need higher overalls for the sets. Now, I know it doesn't make sense to put, you know, a 98 into a set that you get a 99 for, but it's the end of the year. So if they drop any promo and you happen to need a 98, I would say to hold on to them because it happens like this every year where they'll change up the set requirements and you end up needing higher overall cards. Anything else like, you know, these BNDs and stuff like that, I would probably just start getting rid of the BNDs. There really isn't any reason to keep these guys. Uh, for those of you guys who are asking like, yo, G, you know, I know you pulled some of these cards out of the packs from, you know, when you did the promos and you were doing the actual, um, you know, weekly wild card stuff, whatever it is. You get these things out of the field pass. I'm not saying to keep them. Um, you know, some of you guys want to use it for a theme team, whatever. I don't see any reason why I would need, uh, you know, Arizona Cardinal. 
for a theme team or anything like that so you can start getting your training ready why am i saying this about training because if they bring back the tvps right to kind of test it like they did last year when we thought we were going to have it all year then they took it down and gave us mystery packs if they decide to make training a thing you could have like i do a ton of just bnds like why why do you have these cards like this right here this was a free michael parsons so we can't do nothing with that but you can go through and see what's there and just start getting rid of them 95s like i said just hold on to those because we don't know what's going on um these type of cards right here you can't even quick sell them because they come from the actual season like the patrick peterson the jerry rice stuff like that um so just go ahead and leave those things alone but i want you guys to start to clean house with a lot of the miscellaneous cards if you can make some training go ahead and just make it because it's only going to make it easier for you because one of the things that's going to happen also when they do training variety uh training variety packs if they do that again it's going to be a very very large amount of training because they when they started it it was such a hit and they were like you know what the community likes this let's take this away so i do assume based on what they've done with the mystery packs it's going to be pretty pricey all right the um fan appreciation all right for those of you guys that don't understand what's going on with that this is what's going to happen with that they're going to give you the option of buying packs or you know with coins or with money i would recommend that you get your coins up okay uh make sure that you know what's going on as far as like how much you're willing to spend because they're going to get if they do it the same way they did it last year it's going to be like a certain amount and then it may refresh throughout the process of the month in those packs it's going to give you better odds of getting whatever is available not limited from previously before but anything that's actually available so you're going to want to take advantage of it when it comes to the actual coin version i again i am not going to encourage anyone to spend actual real money on the game right now because we're going to be buying you know buku bundles day one and 25 also we got college football 25 so i, I don't want to like you know be, oh yo do this do that and then all of a sudden you can't afford anything that's going on with the uh the new games that are coming out so that's what you should be doing right now as far as the cards go see what you have that are bnds for training get rid of those cards um you know if you have to sell anything that you think has value that are like golden tickets ultimate legends fine but the 98s i'm recommending that you keep them there as far as the new golden tickets because i got to cover everything we did get uh the, the thibodeau was good i'm going to explain to you guys why he gets the reinforcement so pretty much i know some of you guys are like yo gee it's not all the ko's all right bros i'm not going to argue with you uh but just understand reinforcement is clutch especially with everybody running all these nasty streaks and all of these vanguards it's actually really good i'll tell you this much right now aj dylan is pure garbage i bought him for like 2 million i sold them back for like 1.4 and i'm completely disgusted with myself for even buying them to begin with all right algae Crum algae crumpler is him i did spend 2 million on him he's down to about 1.6 it is what it is deon sanders is trash but people will spend money because of the name his ability stack is absolutely horrible you got to pay 1 ap for mid zone in in june it's like come on like ea please like stop being so ridiculous man stop doing this stuff just don't do it anymore you know what i'm saying bro and then with this it's like return man like why wasn't that just built in it doesn't really matter it is what it is so that's what's going on right now tell me what you are planning to do to prepare for season seven hit me up in the comments let me know where you are are you mutt level 50 all that good stuff i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time you enjoy your day stay well stay blessed one love y'all